what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and because I do read your emails and I do read your comments and I do read your messages today we are talking about what it takes to coyote swap a 99 to 04 currently modular powered car um, which could include a 96 to 98 car as well but um, that's what we're getting into let's go all right guys so let's kind of dive into this yes you've seen on the show uh, four to five uh, coyote swaps that we've done already in fox bodies um and we do have a uh, 68 or 9 one of those two uh f100 coming that we're going to be swapping but like i said everybody's been asking about the new edge cars so you know let's kind of let's get into this let's let's see what's up and the fact of the matter is new edge is easier all right guys so let's talk a little bit about the edge cars um when i say edge the new edge the 99 to 04 which you know when you get into like a, a 94 uh to 98 they look a little different on the outside but overall it's basically a fox chassis underneath it albeit with a lot of refinements um they definitely handle a lot better they're a lot more rigid um which it's a good thing you know it's definitely a good thing um you know so is this a better platform to coyote swap that's the question uh, are we talking better or are we talking easier? Well, let's kind of talk about it. Better? Okay, yeah, they are a little more rigid. They are a little more, uh, they do handle a little more. You know, they've got, uh, they've got some upgrades to the same chassis. And, uh, you know, that helps. That definitely helps. Um, they've got better brakes. They're already five look, you know. Got your 8.8 .8 rear end, which is good. You know, foxes have those too. Um, you know, so those are definitely pluses. Um, and again, that's, that's all stuff you don't have to do to a Fox body. Um, not that I would take a swapped edge car over my car, but I had to do all this stuff. All of these brakes and, um, you know, the five lug and all that, though, all of those had to be swapped onto my car, um, which was added time, added expense. Um, and it was a lot of work, to be quite honest with you. So, that's kind of the chassis and the brakes and the suspension. Let's get under the hood and see what's up. All right guys, so for demonstration purposes and because the wind noise is terrible and I don't like my external mic, we're back in the garage and we're gonna kind of go over a few things. All right, so um, this is the 03, same 99 to 04. A couple of things here. The modular engines, which this is a modular engine just like a Coyote is, uh, the K member is the same. A Coyote will drop right in here on these exact motor mounts and bolt up to the 4R70W transmission. Now, I don't recommend using the 4R70. Um, I, I Honestly, I'm not even sure you can use it without an external controller because it is an electronically controlled uh, transmission. So, don't I, I don't believe that will work. There may, somebody may have a solution like PA or something like that, um, but I would definitely not recommend that. But... You can drop a coyote in this car like it is in anything. Um, as you can see, the hydro boot right here. And yes, guys, we'll get into this later, but that was my hood shutting. These MRT hood struts, no bueno. Um, this hydro boost right here is the exact same hydro boost that is in this car. Um, and this, uh, this power steering reservoir, all these lines, all these things are the exact same thing that is on my car. Um, the air conditioning compressor, the starter, all the air conditioning lines, the condenser, all of the parts that are in this car right here are on this car. So you're kind of seeing where I'm going with this. All right, guys. So a little sidebar. I've only had this kit on here, which I, I love the kit. I love getting rid of the prop rod, but I, I don't, and it's not even that cold here. It's like 55 degrees here today, but the hood keeps falling. You heard it fall earlier. And the, the kit's not old, it's not worn out. It was brand new when I bought it, and my hood keeps falling down. Other than that, it's a phenomenal kit, and I definitely recommend getting this. However, let's uh, kind of get back to what we we're talking about. Like I showed you, there is the Hydro Boost. You can see all the lines are identical. You can see all the lines are absolutely identical because all the lines there came from this car. So this car is definitely a 100% easier to swap. You don't have to get a K member. Uh, if you want power steering, air conditioning, power brakes, uh, all of that. Look at that, see? I hate it, big fail. Um, so all of this stuff you can use. Like, and, and that, that's super, super cool. So 
you that's a lot of money saved it's a lot of time saved a lot of work saved as far as just physically getting the engine in the car okay so let's talk about a few other things obviously uh, the engine harness the body harness um, from a 99 to 04 car is not going to work with the coyote so you still will have to buy a control pack or some sort of standalone whether it's a holly or um, I mean there's several different ones that make them um, the fast fast makes them uh, but you're still gonna have to have some way to wire up and run the engine uh, because the the 99 to 04 stuff even though they're both modular motors not even close not even anywhere near close um, you'll still have to put a pedal in the car you're still gonna have to figure out a gauge solution now everybody has been like getting on to Dakota Digital about making a cluster for for uh, the 99 to 04 cars or the 94 to 99 uh, 04 cars um, they don't make one as of yet I don't know if there's any plans for them to make one it would be awesome if they did if they're watching um, because I love that cluster um, but so in the interim, you will have to figure out something as far as uh, making your gauges work. Um, just just be a matter of wiring and, and making it happen as far as your gauges go. Yes, you'll have to put a pedal in it. Um, depending on the transmission, you're going to have to have a drive shaft. Now, here's, here's the thing. These cars from late 01 to 04 came with the exact same transmission that is in my car. Um, obviously, mine was custom built by Hanlon, but it's the TR3650. Uh, the GTs and um, you know so that transmission not only will it bolt right up but you could use that same drive shaft so that's a plus too if yours is a five speed which this is an automatic if yours is a five speed uh, that saves you a lot of money there you're gonna want to upgrade the clutch and I would definitely recommend having the transmission built um, like I did from a reputable builder like like Hanlon Motorsports um, but your trans will work you know you're, you'll need a different flywheel um, because the coyote is eight bolt and uh but other than that like this is a super super easy car to swap as far as when you compare it to a fox body where everything's got to be changed so is this better than a fox body no in my opinion i mean i love the new edge cars i've had several of them they're fantastic cars um you are light years ahead as far as um you know swapping over the the brakes and the five lug um, you know, making the car a better handling car, stuff like that. And they look fantastic. I mean, the, the Edge cars are really, really good looking cars. Um, as far as um, my opinion goes, they're, they're right up there with the Fox Body. They're probably the second best looking uh, Mustang ever made. Yeah, I'm going to have to say that. Um, even though I love my S550, the Edge cars are pretty awesome. Um, so if, if that's what you have, if, if, if you have a Edge car, a GT especially, a 5-speed um, 99-04 car, you are really in good shape for a Coyote swap. And I'm about to tell you why I would do that. Okay, guys, so let's think about this for a minute. Let's say you've got a 2004 Mustang GT 5-speed. Um, engine's got a lot of miles on it, kind of like this car right here. And you're trying to decide what to do. Or maybe it doesn't have a lot of miles. You just want to buy some, you know, you, you want the car to be faster. Um, these cars put down in the 220, 230 range bone stock um, in a, in a five-speed application. Maybe a little less. Um, but we'll say 220 to the tire. And uh, that's a good round number. Google it if you don't believe me. Um, you know, but say you did all the bolt-ons. And I'll tell you this, the O2... The two valve tear had every bolt on known to man, including long tubes, tune, and all that, and it put down 275 on an SCT tune. That was every bolt on the plenum, the long tubes, full exhaust, pulleys, cold air, uh, everything. It had it all. 275 horsepower at the ground. Um, and so let's talk about adding a supercharger. On on those cars, you're gonna get 120 maybe, 130 from a supercharger. Um, you know, so we're gonna be at 375, close to 400, right around 400. Okay, and at that point, the glass bottom end in these things, which is extremely weak, comes into fat into play, and basically you're gonna have to leave it right around 400, or you're gonna have to put a bottom end in it. Um, so if you kind of see where I'm going with this, I would definitely, definitely, definitely not recommend 
throwing a bunch of money at the two valve. They are great engines, they are reliable, and they can be fast, they can make good power. But in the grand scheme of things, it just makes 100% more sense to go ahead and drop a Coyote, especially with all the things that I've covered already about these cars in the video so far. my take um, again a lot of people were asking should they do this to their car and um, you know as far as you know the the newer cars how hard is it you know what does it take how different is it from a Fox body so I tried to cover all of that if you have any more questions feel free to drop me a comment below um, the edge cars have been swapped before it's you know the the swaps are getting a little more common as time goes along um, but I, I think that pretty much covered everything um, you know, it, it is still an engine swap. It's still going to take a lot of work. It's still going to take a considerable amount, of, uh, considerable amount of cash to do it. But at the end of the day, a 99-04 car with a Coyote swap is going to be a very good handling, very good running, very comfortable, very enjoyable car. Um, just like the Fox body. I mean, you will love it. And you already have all the five lug. You already have decent brakes. It's a win-win. I recommend doing it. And uh, don't be surprised if I do it. All right, guys, so that is what I've got for you today. Definitely hope it was helpful. Drop me a comment below what you think. Is a 99-04 a good swap car? I think so. Who knows? But in the meantime, if this video was helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button because you will not believe all the crazy stuff we've got coming. Modular, pushrod, Mustang of all generations. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Everybody have a great afternoon. I'll hit you on the next upload. See ya.